Hey guys, so whether you have your hot body guides or you're looking to get them, there are some questions that I want to answer for you to help you feel more prepared and ready to reach your goals. There is a ton of information in both of these guides, but I'm going to start with sharing the top five frequently asked questions from the hot body sweat guide. The most important thing you can do when starting the guide is to take your before photos and measurements. And a lot of you ask why it's so important. Going through my own weight loss transformation, this was the key to keeping me motivated on those days that seemed a little bit tough. And I know it can be a very vulnerable thing to take those photos, but they are so important. They're gonna help you really see the progress you're making throughout the guide. And a scale can only tell you so much. So make sure you take those photos and measurements first. Number two, the second question I get all the time is when to do this little cardio burst you see right here. The cardio burst is intended to be done at the end of your entire workout, but if you're feeling super strong and you wanna give yourself an extra push, challenge yourself and do it at the end of each and every round. Number three, now there are a lot of suggestions in the guide, but if you're wondering what to do on your cardio days, you can go for a walk, you can take a hike, you can go for a light jog, or if there's a class you love, like a yoga or a dance class, go and do it. I built these guides to give you the flexibility to do things you love and incorporate them into your week as well. With that, some days you're gonna have hit sprints on your workout plan, and if you don't have a treadmill, you can go outside and do sprints, or you can do one of my Hot Body Hit videos on YouTube too, and it's a perfect way to get your heart rate up and burn tons of calories. Number four, how long will these workouts take? Each of the circuit workouts should take about 30 minutes, but listen to your body. If you need longer breaks, take them. And the number five most asked question is, what do I do when I complete the eight weeks? I've been loving the workout guide. It's had like such an amazing effect on my body. I see all these changes and I wanna keep going. Keep going. I want you to repeat the guide, increase the weights that you're using. That is going to be the biggest thing picking your weights, making sure that you have a weight that's challenging your body and helping you change it. So increase the weights and increase your rounds. If you've been doing two rounds of each, make it three or maybe even four and you're gonna continue to progress and grow stronger and more confident every single day. And make sure you continue to track your progress. So if you go beyond week eight, I want you to track and know if you're on week 10, week 16 or week 24 so you can show everyone in the LSF community how awesome you're doing. So for the top five frequently asked questions for the hot body meal plan, question number one is, can I swap meals between days? No. The meal plan is set up very specifically with a balance of fats, carbs, and proteins to give you the perfect nutrition you need every single day, and that's gonna vary from day to day. So stick within your day. Question number two, can I mix up the meals within my day? Absolutely. So if you're looking at day three, Anything goes within that day. If you wanna have your yogurt that looks like it's on meal one for meal five or save it for dessert, you are more than welcome to do that as long as you stick within that day. Question number three is can I make swaps? If you are allergic to dairy but you wanna do the meal plan or if you hate fish, there are absolutely simple ways that you can make really healthy swaps and still stay on track. When it comes to dairy, the best thing you can do is remember that your dairy in the meal plan is a source of lean protein. So you can easily swap that out for eggs or egg whites, for chicken or fish, but if you still want to have something that's more of like a sweet treat like a yogurt, take a non-dairy yogurt that's low in sugar and add a good protein powder to it. That way you're still getting the texture and the taste, but getting that protein packed meal. Now when it comes to swapping out other foods like proteins or fats or carbs, there are easy ways to stay on track there too. So say you hate salmon, but it's on your meal plan for that night. You can absolutely swap it out for another healthy lean protein like grilled chicken. If you have a fat like an avocado on your meal plan and you'd rather have some nut butter, you can swap out that quarter of an avocado for a tablespoon of nut butter. Or say you have quinoa, but all you have at home is brown rice, that can easily be swapped as well. So at the end of the day, you can definitely swap out your fats for fats, proteins for proteins, or carbohydrates for other carbohydrates. And if you're unsure of what those are, look in your grocery guide in the beginning of the guide and you'll find everything you need to know. Question number four, what if I don't like vegetable fill in the blank? It could be anything. Veggies are totally free. So if there's something in your meal plan that you're not feeling, swap it out for another healthy vegetable and you'll be good to go. Question number five, and this is a biggie. What do I do when I go out to eat so that I can stay on track? You guys, I don't expect you to never go out to eat during the time you're on the hot body meal plan. It's just not practical, but there are definitely things you can do to make sure you stay on track and still enjoy yourself out. 
The most important thing to do is to look at your meal plan before you go to the restaurant. That's gonna help you get an idea of the types of things you should be looking for on the menu so that you can stay as close to it as possible. So for example, if on your meal plan you have fish with veggies, when you go out to eat, try to find something that's fish with some grilled vegetables on the side. Avoid getting vegetables that are sauteed in butter so you can ask for them to be steamed or grilled. And also an example of something that is not good if you have a turkey burger on your meal plan, don't go swap it out for a regular burger at the restaurant. That is not gonna keep you on track. Also, make sure you get dressings on the sides. Those are usually loaded with sugars and calories that you just don't want. And my biggest tip for going out to eat is to not be afraid to ask for modifications. Remember, you're the customer and most restaurants wanna make you happy. So make those simple swaps, they'll be happy to accommodate and you'll be so much better off. And don't forget, there is still an FAQ section in the guide and tons of information for you there. So if you have any questions, go there first. If you haven't started the guides yet, hopefully these FAQs really help clear up any questions you might have had. And if you have, I am so excited to watch your progress. So don't forget to take those pictures and I'll see you guys soon.